Hello everyone, I'm Hank and welcome to Comics VR. It's been a long time since the last video. Today, I'm going to introduce the updates and the progress for the last two months. Firstly, I submit the proposal to this project to the Institute of Creativity, Art, and Technology at Virginia Tech. And to my surprise, this project is already the funding. Thanks to ICAT, I was able to rent the Oculus Rift and purchase the required materials. Now, I can use the Oculus Rift test set in Unity, and I'll show you how to set up later. Secondly, there are a few changes of the design. I have decided not to use the potentiometer. I have tried multiple mechanical design of the glove. However, it always turned out uncomfortable. Also, it impedes my hand movement in a significant level. I realize it is extremely hard to track and sense the hand movement mechanically. Uh, it can be possible, but it is extremely hard for me because I do not have finest 3D printer or I do not have uh, a mechanical or material knowledge to design. Instead of using potentiometer, I used the flex sensor. I will explain how to make the flex sensor and how to read the value uh, later in this video. Uh, first, I'll explain how to set up uh, Oculus headset in Unity. First, uh, go to Asset Store and type Oculus Integration. And download the o Oculus Integration. Uh, I already downloaded it here. I already downloaded it. So once you download it, import the Oculus Integration in your scene. I already, I already uh, uh, imported the scene. And there is the asset Oculus, and go to VR, go to prefabs, and there is the Oculus uh, camera. There is OVR camera rig, and add this into your scene. I already added it here, and don't forget to remove your main camera. So I will delete it, and and you're set. It's very easy. A flex sensor is a sensor that measures the amount of deflection or bending. The resistance is directly proportional to the amount of bend. You can purchase the flex sensor online, but I personally made it because I need to customize the length and flexibility for my glove. I used the aluminum foil and ballastat to make this flex sensor. To make flex sensor, first you need the ballastat. Velostat is a conductive fabric for packaging or protecting electrostatic discharge. The top and bottom of Velostat, you need conductive metal foil. You can use copper or aluminum. In my case, I used aluminum. The most important thing here is two aluminum foils should not contact each other. Velostat fully covers the aluminum foil to prevent contacting. Last, Put flexible plastic for the outer shell. This flex sensor is working as a potentiometer. I gave 5 volt reference to read the voltage. After uh, making this simple code to read the analog value from pin A0, uh, you can see these values are uh, showing. And then when I vend it, it is like changing the value. When it's fully vended, it's like 6 or seven eight when it's fully expanded it's around 700 600 or like it's changing but as you can see when I bend it like 10 10 degree it's already decreased like 500 but when I uh, bend it from 90 degrees to 100 degree it just changed like less than 10 so this this numbers are changing non linearly so in order to use this uh, bending to like a linear uh, bending, I need to use a nonlinear regression to man uh, manipulate this data. So in order to use the nonlinear regression, I probably derived a very good nonlinear uh, algorithm to use the raw data. But however, right now I'm going to use a very simple just trend line from the Excel. So here is the, our raw data that uh, the potentiometer value from the flex sensor uh, reading from pin A0. And this is the, my, the angle that the, the flex sensor 
uh, bending. So when the when it's fully expanded, which is zero degree, the value was six twenty, and it is like when it ten degree, it is three hundred, and to the one hundred and ten. And you can see this graph graph is completely nonlinear, and we can use just uh, the first order equation to use this value. So <clears throat> I already told you that uh, we need a, a very good nonlinear regression of algorithm to use this data for very, uh, very extremely like accurate. Uh, uh, banding angle. However, right now I'm going to use just this uh, general, very simple trend line function in Excel. So here, going to plus and then trend line, it will generate this linear uh, uh, trend line. However, we don't we don't need this linear trend line, but we are going to use this log uh, linear trend uh, log trend line. And then when I put the display equation. Here it's too small. Okay, let me. Oops. Yep. So increase the number, and you see this. Uh, this the equation for this function. So x is our raw data, and then y is going to be the angle whenever the input is. So it will show this number, and then when I put this equation to my Arduino here uh, yeah so for flex sensor I made this very simple function here so X is the analog input from the pin 0 um, here I'll put here and then it will return the X which is going to be um, um, yep so flex sensor the input is a0 pin a0 and output is going to be the whatever after it's calculated and I just make it zero when the value is negative less than zero I'll just fix to zero and then it is always a minimum from zero zero to whatever the value input so I prepared two different lengths of sensor and then this sensor is going to be used to read the movement of this movement and this one is going to be used to read this one so combining these two sensor you can read all the movements like this and there's no something like there's no something like this one I cannot even follow so you, I don't need to attach another sensor over here so one and one that is all we need so I temporarily attached is the short length of the sensor at the f each finger and then I soldered all the registers and then lines and connected to the all these analog pins and now I can see these values are changing when I'm bending it so when I like this is all to the 100 above 100 while expanding zero so by just one finger is changing and like this it's always working so I send these values these values are sending to the zero, zero port by separate by comma so this is the index finger middle finger uh, ring finger and pinky and this is just for another one just reference and then I receive these data through zero port and the zero port read Zero port read to read those value and separate each string uh, each data by the comma, and then this comma uh, this each each data will be uh, fit into this L two J two L three J two L four and L five, which is stands for second, third, fourth, and fifth finger on left hand, and J two means is the second joint of the each finger, and then this beta will be went into here and here and here for each fingers uh, each each of the finger object and then if I had to change the angle of the finger actually this uh, all these details are in the previous de uh, previous videos I, I'm gonna like uh, I'm gonna skip the details but all these data are fed into the these uh, values and then these values are changing by the serial port and the sensors and then these 
uh, this data will affect the angle of the each joint of the simulation. And I save the script and then the here L2J2, L2J1, L3, L4, L5, inside L2J2, so, uh, everything is uh, object and then these angles are going to be changed. And let's run without uh, Oculus headset right now. Yep, now it's working. It's very good. No lag. Uh, there's very responsive. And then now I'm going to check with the headset. So I can see this hand and the object. And yeah, my finger is bending. I didn't set the thumb yet, but yep, it's definitely working. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Yep, very good. And I need to optimize it, these the angles, and I need to attach the more sensors. But so far, everything's working fine. And all I need to do is optimization and put some, make it more accurate. So I technically finished sensing the finger movement, although it needs optimization for better accuracy. So next step will be the optimization of flex sensor and attaching the motors to give the haptic feedback. Thank you for watching and I will come back with a great idea.